Hey, what's up? This is Aaron. I'm coming at you today to tell you about Flyloop's drum sets, which is the newest feature in Flyloop's universe. You see it here right in front of you. Uh, each of these six boxes is a drum. Each one of them has loaded to it a particular sound clip, which you see displayed down here. Uh, and simply clicking on them makes them play. But what I really want to tell you about are these strange looking boxes here. This is our probability matrix, which tells you the probability of that beat playing at any given point in this measure, in this pattern. Um, some of the patterns like this one are more than one measure. So, uh, what does that mean? Well, let me turn them on for a second so you get an idea how this works. Alright, so that should give you a good idea. As you can see, anytime the probabilities uh, are high they can be above 100% all the way up, then it puts it every single beat. So uh, this, for example, is your typical four on the floor kind of beat, uh, where you have four different beats that play 100% of the time and the rest at zero. And of course, as you would expect, if I do something like this, it starts to change the beat. Um, we can also change the swing. So. And there's another other variable called the grouping, which I have mistakenly mapped to this knob as well. Um, grouping changes the percentage of beats being next to each other, so you can imagine them clustering. So for example, let's take this beat over here, and if I turn up grouping, as you hear, it almost always plays several beats in a row. So what else do we have? Also, we can change uh, what part of the beat plays, for example, up here, or part of the sound wave. All right. How did all this happen? Uh, I got to step back for just a second. Um, all of these, as you can see, are conforming to the same metronome, which is over here got this metronome because we've already recorded a loop. Uh, now I did this before I started the video, um, but here's our one loop. Let's get rid of it now. As you see, if you clear, clear the loop, uh, your metronome disappears in fly loops. As soon as you record the first loop, record the first loop, record the first loop, record it the figures first out loop. how long it is and it uh, drops in a metronome. So, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, if we have two, three, one of these four, enabled one, two, three, immediately, four, uh, one, it's two, three, Four, comes right one, in. Two, three, um, four, two, three, four, 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 one. So however long this loop is, it's gonna find a beat. So however long this loop is, it's gonna find a beat. So however long this loop is, it's gonna find a beat. So however long this loop is, it's gonna find a beat. So however long this loop is, it's gonna find a beat. So however long this loop is, it's gonna find a beat. Equally subdivided. Find a beat. So however long this loop, whatever amount of swing and so forth you have in there. So uh, that's it. I should also mention that up here we have, um, this is a plug-in loader, so I have addictive drums loaded right now. You can load your drum set plugins here, uh, and if you have MIDI controllers, you can also use them then to play the drums. Um, also, since every knob and every slider uh, in Fly Loops is mappable to MIDI, you can, oops, uh, you can map the play buttons to MIDI controllers so that you can play them thought I had that one mapped. Hang on a second. There you go. And then you can play it with MIDI controllers, as you see here. Um, you can also map it to keyboards, uh, computer keyboards. So if you want to, you can play the drums with the computer keyboards. And then, of course, you can loop those drum beats yourself over here with the looper, because these drums uh, will be looped on these loops if you have it enabled over here on the audio routing. Anyway, that's about it. Uh, uh, hopefully I've given you all a very good idea what the Fly Loops drum set does. And uh, download your copy today at flyloops.com. Check it out. And if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions, please email.